This is Africa. Land of plenty. Misunderstood continent. You find everything. Um, Africa is the only continent that really hasn't experienced a green revolution. Uh, your country is richly endowed, and I'm just curious, what is it that you're doing, what is your government doing to achieve the goal of zero hunger? We say a country must be ruled by the people of that country. Two, a country must be developed by the people of that country. Three, a country must eat what it kills. That is village wisdom. I think it's a very important question and the answer for us lies around the way we have defined agriculture. We've been defining agriculture in a narrow sense. So I think the first thing to do is to broaden the definition of agriculture, food, security, feeding ourselves. Because a dry definition does not address certain key components that will allow us to achieve a green revolution. So now, in Zimbabwe, we have problems of food insecurity and we said how much food do we want per year to feed our country we know we need about two million metric tons of grain so we say because there is climate change how many hectares of land can we put under irrigation to produce the two million plus metric tons to feed the nation and we determine how much uh, yield does a hectare have. Once you've done that, you now know how many hectares you must put under irrigation to achieve the amount of grain you want to feed your nation in spite of climate change. We have been importing our wheat from Ukraine, our fertilizer from Russia. Now, that side is problematic. <laughs> we got the fertilizer which we are getting from Russia. We decided to find out what makes fertilizer. We discovered that because of the colonial mentality, we thought fertilizer was produced elsewhere. We have the materials in the country and three, four months ago, we have begun producing our own fertilizer. <laughs> We have drifted, we're drifting away from the narrow definition uh, of fertilizer, of seed, of extension services to mean agriculture. No. So we put in a program called the Comprehensive Agriculture Support Program as a country. And that by implication means infrastructure to support agriculture, road, rail, but also energy infrastructure, green energy, very important. Um, water harvesting, extremely important to allow us to irrigate and small, medium, large irrigation alike. That we have done and we are now food secure. We do have, for example, self-sufficiency in maize, as, as just as an example. But uh, countries just uh, uh, not far from us need the maize, but we cannot deliver the maize at a commercially profitable level because of, you know, logistics challenges. So as a continent, we have to deal with those issues of investments as well around them. It's shameful for us to be hungry as Africa. We must accept that. We must accept that political leaders, us here, our farmers, our business people, we must wash away this shame. We must wash away this shame to our children, to our widows, and the like. It's very, very important. Finally. Food security is key for political stability. Hmm? Food security is key for political stability. Very important for enhancing democracy. When people have eaten, they think better. They make better choices. And ultimately, food security is important for economic and social development. So there is a vicious cycle which we must accept. Jobs, business opportunities, and indeed social equity. Thank you very much.